Hello everyone, we are gonna do a boil test now. This is a one liter boil test. The air temperature is 51 degrees, the water temperature is 55 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, this is the first boil test I've done with this. We, as you saw in my previous video, we cooked some canned food on it. And what do you call it? The beef stroganoff or whatever you call it. I forgot what you call it. Anyways, we're gonna do a basic boil test. So first thing first, Turn on the fuel. Oh, and the can has sit, been sitting outside for several hours now, so it should also be the 51 degrees on the ground, so maybe a couple degrees warmer. But, uh... Okay, that is lit. That is on max. And start. We're also going to be looking at fuel usage. There is just a slight breeze outside. Like this is a, well, just so you can see it. Trees moving. I know, I'd say that's a few miles per hour. I really don't have a good judgment of wind speed without an anemometer. You can kind of see the leaves, and oh, that tree's moving around a good bit. Nice little breeze going on. Get some real world conditions here my tripod fails <laughs> I suspect I think this only takes like a minute and a half or so to um, to start or to boil so and we're gonna uh, like I was saying um, before we're gonna show total fuel usage so I weighed this can before and then we're gonna see what it shows afterwards right side of this this Liz you can kind of you can see through it uh, there's already bubbles on the bottom this is all the way up. Yep. I suspect to be less than two minutes. We'll have a roaring boil. Already a light boil. Like bubbles are rising. I probably soon will be able to see it due to the condensation, but um, yeah, the condensation starting to cover everything up. Oh, you can see it through the holes though. I like these little holes here that they can you can drain it out. And some smaller bubbles going. Got a small boil. This is probably about 180 degrees, maybe. Yeah, this is a pretty solid breeze right now. I give maybe it's five mile an hour, I guess. Oh, I thought I would boil maybe a little bit quicker. But it's not as fast as a jet boil, but of course it's colder conditions out. I can't. Nope. Not boiling yet. The efficiency is really what I care about on this stove is that it's really efficient not yet I'm kind of surprised it's actually this long I thought this was quicker maybe I just misread it the boil times again to me don't matter as long as it boils you know in a reasonable time frame like five minutes or something Get in there. Like you can feel it rumbling. Obviously, I misjudged what a baby boil is. It's currently at what is really a baby boil. That's a very small boil. Let's see if this will actually. I'll let you see what this looks like. Maybe it just doesn't do a hard boil. There's your hard boil right there. Four minutes, just four minutes. We'll say four minutes because I took a couple seconds to get it on. Of course, I took the lid off. So right at four, oh yeah, shit. <laughs> oh. 
I forgot. <laughs> I need to look at the fuel usage. Should have turned that off immediately. Okay, well, we'll have to adjust by a, a percent or so, but it's gonna be in the grams. So I'll, I'll overlay that here in the in the comment section. And But yeah, I just wanted to upload a quick boil test. Took right at four minutes to do one liter of water. Um, and yeah, that, that was a good test. Actually, yeah, so one liter is four cups. Um, that's why it took longer. I was thinking two cups, half a liter. Um, so maybe we'll do that test too. Look for that video. Thanks everyone. Bye. And we're back. So I decided just to go ahead and add this to the same video. We are going to go ahead and turn this on. I'm going to see if I can do it right. That's on. You start. And we're at max. Okay, so a little bit of difference with this one. This is only a, a half liter, so point, point 0.5 liters. Um, the can is, uh, was pretty cold after I stuck it in my pocket, uh, got rid of the condensation on it and everything. So, I mean, it's kind of equivalent. You boiled something, waited five, 10 minutes and boiled again. Uh, the can cools off and the greatest performance over time. Um, also the water temperature is at 64 degrees because it's right out of my tap and wasn't sitting outside. So that's going to be the difference. Maybe that could be like water that's been sitting outside all day in your water bottle but uh, it's gonna be a little bit of a different test obviously the same conditions were outside same time of day it's 51 degrees outside so I suspect this is gonna be within two minutes should have a boil if it was four minutes for that one and oh, by the way um, it's gonna be in the description but you use 10 grams of fuel it, the weight showed it used 11 grams but if you calculate the little bit of loss and screwing the canister on and off and the fact that I let it go over to the boil, that it, I'd say it used 10. This will this will double check us um, if it uh, should use five grams of fuel for this boil if everything comes out the same. I'm assuming I can see when it's boiling. That's the other thing. Not yet. Check out the 45. It's just starting the boil. Should be right at two minutes. It's baby boil. Well, my um, phone ran out of the space five seconds before it boiled. So right at two minutes, it boiled. Um, it was a strong boil right at two minutes. And I turned the fuel off immediately this time. So we're gonna see, you go inside and um, see what we get. I appreciate you watching everyone. Bye.